Managing Mickey presents... Hi, I'm Cole, and welcome to our home. Today, I will be giving a very quick review of Disney's Columbia Harbor House. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, I encourage you all to like this video and maybe suggest what you would like to see me review in the future. But for now, let's start with an overview of the restaurant. Alright, Columbia Harbor House is a quick service restaurant located in Liberty Square right next to Memento Mori. The restaurant is themed very similarly to an old colonial ship serving foods such as sandwiches, shrimp, salmon, and chicken. Menu subject to change at any time. Columbia Harbor House only serves dinner and lunch with both menus having the same food. We pulled 48 people and out of the most recent food items on the menu, the top dishes were the lobster rolls, the chicken breast nuggets, and the trio platter. This restaurant accommodates for many allergies including gluten, wheat, egg, milk, peanut, tree nut, and soy. I would greatly recommend off the menu the allergy friendly chicken breast nuggets. So you may be saying to yourself, that's all great, but how much does this food cost? Well, the price of an entree from Columbia Harbor House ranges from around $8.99 to $15.99 with an average price of about $12.31. Compared to something like Pinocchio's Village House, which has an average price of $11.02, this restaurant is actually a little more expensive than the typical quick service restaurant in Magic Kingdom. Now on to the service. The service at Columbia Harbor House is fine as quick service goes, as you don't interact with cast members that much, but the service you do get is actually really nice. I'd also like to mention that they provide mobile ordering with a pickup area inside the restaurant. This restaurant provides free waters for guests at the mobile order pickup area. Now let's talk about the ambiance in Columbia Harbor House. Columbia Harbor House has two floors with the first floor usually being the most crowded. Both floors are decked out with decorations you would expect to find in an old colonial ship, including its very own wheel. Overall, I find the ambiance to be fine, but I'm sure for some people, they would love this restaurant's ambiance. So overall, if you've not tried Columbia Harbor House yet, I would greatly encourage you to do so. They have great food and it provides an overall great experience. That is why we give Columbia Harbor House a 7 out of 10. If you found this video helpful, please let us know in the i card in the top right corner. Thank you for watching, and until next time, from our house to yours.